Hi, David Block is here, Los Altos Homes. Hi, atop once again, Sereno Office Building in downtown Los Altos. It's uh, day after the Super Bowl, exciting game. Uh, I thought gentleman said it best online that the biggest action was in the first three quarters was the coin flip and the missed field goal. Anyways, I uh, wanted to go back to May, June of last year when the market slowed down. Uh, that's continued through the beginning of this year and so buyers are adapting the way they approach their home search They're getting themselves much more informed. They understand what's going on with the market home prices financing options and uh, Their behavior is going to be a little bit different coming this spring and I think uh, you know in the next couple of months will probably still be a little bit pro buyer or excuse me pro seller market but I think when we get into uh, late May, April, it will switch back strongly, I think, in the buyer's favor. Uh, but uh, buyers right now are, are making that transition. Uh, basically, there are four things that buyers are doing uh, in their home search that they didn't do when the market was really, really active. And the first one is um, they're not reacting to when properties come on the market absurdly below market. Um, in prior years when the market was really active, low list price equaled multiple offers, which equaled an auction type atmosphere and bidding up. Buyers are much more informed. They're not getting involved with that. They're saying, hey, if the listing agent or agent teams are going to behave that way, go at it because I know in a uh, market that's moving toward equilibrium, um, they're, they're just not going to get involved. They'll just watch and wait and see what happens. And then when the next one comes on, that, that price may be a little bit lower. Uh, uh, section two of that, or part two of that, is when properties come listed way too high. Again, buyers, once again, know the market. They're going to go ahead and, and wait and see. Wait for the seller to reduce the list price down to uh, more where the market is, or if they're really, really, really in love with the property, they may put, you know, submit an offer, but that's going to be a low ball offer because, uh, again, they know that they don't need to uh, fight. Uh, to get that property as much as they did in the past and frankly uh, The fear of losing the property isn't as big I think the fear more on the buyer's side is the fear of paying more, uh, you know way too much for the property um, The third area where buyer behavior is changing for this spring is going to be when it comes to um, sometimes listing agents listing agent teams exaggerated the number of offers if it was a multiple offer situation or frankly exaggerated that it was a multiple offer situation with it when it was again the buyers are much too smart they're not playing that game and they'll just go ahead and sit back let that one go another one will come in and more than likely their their thought process is it'll be uh, lower than the last one so it's sort of a switch in psychology from the super strong seller market lastly um, and I think this one is probably the most important buyers uh, are not soliciting the listing agent or the listing agent teams when it comes to uh, bringing in an offer on any particular property when the market was really active uh, some buyers thought it was to their advantage to go ahead and try to solicit uh, the open house representative or the host or the listening agent team member uh, to represent them on the buy side of the property. Uh, they don't need to do this anymore. You know, the prior hope was, well, if I can get the listing agent uh, member involved, maybe they'll double end it, they'll get more money, I'll get the house and I'll be good. Uh, they're beginning to understand that that's really a faulty idea and they're kind of staying away from that uh, Because it is an inherent conflict of interest. And the last point I want to make before I get absolutely drenched is um, It is an inherent conflict of interest for dual agency to have both a listing agent and listing agent team member um, Representing both buyer and seller on the same property regardless of whether they're actually getting paid to do that um, there are some agents out there who say, hey, our uh, uh, compensation model says we'll go ahead and list it and sell it and give you a discount and, and don't even charge the buyer's side. It doesn't matter whether you're paying for it, it's still dual agency and it's still not a good idea. So if someone tries to tell you that, it's false, don't believe it, hire yourself a good buyer's agent to represent you on the buy side. 
uh, you'll, you'll be doing much better that way. So uh, hopefully you found this interesting. If you have any uh, comments or concerns, please reach out to me. I'm David Blockus with Los Altos Homes out of the Sereno office in downtown Los Altos. My direct line 650-465-0755 or email at dave at Los Altos Homes. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.